Hello Market Club members everywhere, Adam Hewison here coming to you from the digital studios of Market Club. It is Tuesday, the 28th of June, and we have had two back-to-back -back days, and I'm referring to Friday and of course Monday, when we've seen a dramatic drop in the marketplace, and I think that's had a very strong psychological and technical effect on the market. And you can see right here, these are the two days I'm talking about right here, Friday, we're down 600 plus points, and then of course yesterday we're down a couple of hundred, whatever. But the bottom line is it's come straight down. It's created a top here for sure, and we can flip that over, and that takes us down quite a bit. Uh, certainly to these levels here, and I think this is where the market's going to find some sort of some sort of psychological support. I'm guessing around 1900. But look at this huge top that this market's formed. And this is on a this is on the S&P 500 cash, but again, this has been an old bull market. It was ripe for a break. We've been in a bull market for six years now, and maybe even seven if you count last year. Uh, and that is a, a long time for any market to keep going up. It just doesn't work historically. It's never worked like that historically in the markets. And that's going back a long time, a century or more. So again, this is a big move psychologically and technically it has affected the market, not just here in the US, but also in Europe and in Asia. So that's the psychology of the entire world right now is what's going to happen. And are other countries going to break away from Brexit? And if that happens, what's going to happen again to the market? So it, there's a lot of uncertainty, but however, uncertainty offers opportunity. As I mentioned, wild and crazy markets equal some great opportunities to make money. Much the same pattern, just the same pattern in the Dow. But you can see a big move down. It's like a three month chart. It's even better illustrated there, but you put in a top. Uh, which is a double top, and you can see a certainly a move from at least seven, eight hundred, maybe a thousand points below where we are now. So I would say sixteen four would be definitely in the cards uh, in this market. So we can scope that out just a little bit. So it's a somewhere like this we could be down to these levels with not too much of a problem. And we've talked about the Fibonacci retracements. Continue to look at these because they're very useful and they will help you. And 16.6 is a 61.8 percent. So I would say that's definitely going to be in the cards in the weeks ahead. Now I wanted to show you the Nasdaq because this is the important one to look at. And if you look at the trade triangles, they're all red, meaning the trend is now officially down in the Nasdaq. And I think that's what you have to look at. That kicked in yesterday at 4,800, 4,581. You can see that number right there so again that just kicked in uh, we're going to open higher today uh, which will give you a chance to really get some shorts off this is a dead cap bounce in my opinion but if you just measure and look at this market and see what's happening you look at the this is a classic double top right here pivot point you come down you break below the pivot point and you simply flip this over and it's 4700 to 49 almost 5000 300 points from 47 that takes us down to 44 somewhere in here I would say somewhere down these levels you're going to see this market there's no doubt in my mind about that so again we're below the 50 line very negative but this is the only one right now that has all of the trade triangles negative and that's important to remember here's the goal we talked about the $1,300 level in gold that was, that was the barrier that was the resistance we've broken over that level we're 1311 now so if you see a pullback to 1300 it's definitely an area you want to be a, looking to be a buyer in this market also if we get down to the 50 line which we did before remember that we suggested buying here we worked out well but if it gets back down to the maybe the 50 55 that should be support for this market and also pay attention to our trade triangles both of which are all green uh, indicating a strong upward trend so again we're looking for this market to go to the 1500 even $1,600 level. So it's a lot more on the upside. And I think good support in this market. The only little bit disturbing technical evidence is the possible divergence between the highs here and on the RSI. That's a little bit of a divergence. Uh, but I think the overall trend still looks very, very positive. Here's the technical picture we talked about uh, in the blog. And that is basically a 
long-term trend line over six months going back to the beginning of the year. And you can see it matches all the points we want to look at. You can see there's one here, one here, and one. See how it bounced, bounced, bounced? Now, if we go through this line, it's going to change things dramatically. But the thing, the thing is, I don't think we are. I think we're going to see this market go higher. And here's the reason why. One, we have a divergence right here. And you can see there's the lower levels here, but it didn't go down there. And the other thing is, if you look at this carefully, you'll see that our monthly trade triangles, longer term, are still positive, even though the intermediate term and the short term are negative. So again, 60 is a trading range. So I suspect we may see this market regroup and then start to move higher. Okay, that's it for today. We had a very, we have a very vibrant uh, conversation going on about Brexit and uh, stay, leave, whatever the ramifications are. It's getting quite interesting. You may want to join us on the blog for that conversation. But uh, thanks for watching today. Have a great day trading. And remember to stay cool, stay calm, and collected, and watch those trade triangles.